Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I've been thinking about where I want to park this this CSV. I don't want to go all the way back to Universe's End. Like, rather than the practical, I want to go with the sentimental. You know what I'm saying? Repair complete. See, is there anything that's a good deal here we can run up to? Say Manhattan or something, rather. Pharmaceuticals. Ruiz and Beta, yeah. It's cheaper in Manhattan. Okay, so that's, we're not going anywhere with this. Launch and consider our options here. Do you really need it? What we got? Ah, some Corsairs. No one really cares about it, so we're just gonna go <coughs> back this down here. Let's look at the galactic map. So here you have New York. You go back to New York, and then we have two, basically two, uh, two locations. You can't see anything in Texas, but somewhere around here. There's a junker base that was significant to base, uh, you know, operations. We used to launch from there for into to going into uh, Manhattan and stuff like that. And then you have bearing. But you can't see yet either. The free point, free port there is really kind of a big deal. I can go between the two pretty handily. Such a course for bearing. Go to. Of the two bases, the one that's most important to me and the one that I liked the best was definitely... Oh, it's a button. Dog. Freeport 2. I think it's Freeport 2, right? Objective reached. All right, this is where we get off. A little bit of a lag ping there. Let's see, what's our ping? Oh, you have to type that. Is it bang ping? No. Is there anybody here watching me do stupid things? No. What was the ping command? How do you do the commands? Slash ping? 61. There you go. Slash. You go through so many different interfaces when you're playing different games. I remember when I used to play on on the uh, on the Australian servers. It would be like three hundred. I've done a lot of GTA as a late, and I I need a break. It's just been, you know, we did the whole contract thing. There's a few more missions where, you know, the the, the, the Franklin and Lamar missions look really cool, but every time I try to do one, it, the game freezes. I think it's because I, you have to do them in a public session, really, to get anybody with you. And I, I think you can still get, you know, crashed by modders. They can see and they can do things. I don't know. I have to do try it like early in the morning or something like that when there's not a lot of people doing things. Maybe do just joining into that se the same session is an issue, yeah. you know? Cambridge jump gate to Freeport 1. 
Oh, are we going? Th we're going through the uh, the German side of things. Oh, okay. Huh. I figured we'd arch over the top through Texas. Now we're going to go uh, through the Omegas. Let's stop here at, uh, at, at Freeport 1 anyway. This is a nice base, too. Well, they all are. They all have history. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock 3. This is just going to be a very relaxed kind of exploration, wind down kind of session, showing off the different systems. Let's see. Hydrocarbons. See, it's hard to see because the places I'm going to aren't in my map yet. So. Let's see what the bar looks like. Not that we're going to do anything, but you just see the bar. There's only so many of these interiors, so they're usually similar. But the outsides usually match whatever's actually outside. Low-paying stuff over here. Pretty pretty close to what the, the original game was. This is Armed Forces IOTA 10 bit Bounty Hunters White 3 Still have my four. waypoints. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. Ah. The atmosphere, it's just fantastic. You know, all these different dust clouds. I really fear that, you know, Star Citizen, beyond the normal fear that it's not ever going to gel. Objective reached. Or that you'll need a PC that is just, you know, thousands of dollars to make it happen. I, I built this PC. There, there's a funny story. I built this PC for Star Citizen. And for those of you who don't know, the same guy who made Freelancer is making Star Citizen because he wanted to do a modern interpretation of Freelancer. Because, again, this is a 19-year-old game. But it's just... It's not... I think it's too realistic, too flexible, too... Too many things to do. I don't think you can... They can't finish the game. It's just... It's when they, ever they get it done, optimizing it, they're not even trying. They just keep adding stuff to it. So it's... At least it seems like they're not optimizing. I haven't played it probably in over a year. I haven't loaded. I purchased this PC in... Oh, what year was it? 2015? <coughs> Yeah, like March of 2015. Stock. Four Star Citizen. I built it, you know. That it should be tough enough to handle Star Citizen. Now it's 2022. In use. Entering I have a feeling there's been some uh, requirement creep on that. I know the last time I tried to play that game. I was getting three frames per second walking through a hallway. But I still enjoy this. So if it never comes to fruition, well, hey. Maybe it'll be 2035, something like that. We'll finally be playing Star Citizen. <coughs> or something else will come out that's better. Nothing will come out that's been better funded, but I mean, you know. I 
Omega Seven. Omega Seven's a cute little connection system, pretty much. Full of dangerous, bad things. Okay. Well, you could do that, but I got nothing. It was a waste of your time, Corsairs. I'm just driving now. I'm just relocating the ship, and I don't care about making a dime on the trip. <coughs> Think you see any of the bell going on? A little bit. Yeah, we're zipping along now. Should we stop at the Freistadt just to have a... Just to get it on the map? Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock 6. Just to get it on the map. Incoming armored transport convoy. This is Freistadt. You're in range of our station. Freistadt. <coughs> now a lot of the weather has changed radically. It's gone from you know, the temperature keeps dropping. It's messing with my sinuses. What did it say sell here? Ooh. There's the Hammerhead. Hammerhead's a very important uh, ship. It's it's really kind of like, you know, it's not in the, the S tier of these ships. It's not the absolute best, but it's an interesting ship and, and a fun ship, and you can make it work. Incoming cargo transport convoy. This is Dot. You're now in scanner range. And, of course, it looks like Slave 1, so, I mean, you know. I mean, that is definitely a throw-up to the old, uh, well, not throw-up, but like, you know, an homage to the, I guess it depends on how you're using the terminology, it may be a throw-up, but you know, it's not like throw-up, uh, but, you know, it definitely, it's, it's a Slave 1 reference. How about they don't want to use the name Slave 1 anymore for the Slave 1? Like, does anybody remember that Boba Fett wasn't the good guy back in the day? Like, he, he, ha he could have a, uh, a creepy named ship. But they're, they're not using that name anymore. Ah. Everything's so politically correct. Is there really anybody who 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 uh, got offended by that? I mean, you know. I mean, I'm Slovak. That's where the name slave comes from. I mean, the Rus you know, the, the Romans pretty much defined all that. Not that we're ever going to do anything with the border station, but hey, let's put it on the map. There's better stations in the system, but hey. We have planets to land on coming up. But whatever, I mean, the... I think I've expressed this before. I mean, the modern Star Wars stuff. I don't get Disney+, Plus, so I haven't seen a lot of the stuff. But, I mean, as far as the movies were concerned, I felt like they didn't understand the characters. At all. I was lucky enough to, to take some courses uh, with, you know, with the, the Philadelphia Writers, uh, you know, conferences and stuff like that, and got to meet a lot of writers. I got a lot of really good, you know, good insight in how to write. And one of the critical things, I remember Jonathan Mayberry stressed this, and you have to read his books if you're into, like, action, horror, sci-fi kind of stuff. Good, good, scary stuff. But if you, one of the things he stressed is you can't make your character do something that he wouldn't, that your audience wouldn't think he'd do. Like it has to fit with him, you know. 
And if he does something that's really different, then, uh, then what you have to do is you have to justify it somehow. You know? Like, you know, in the case of, you know, the whole thing with Luke Skywalker and the green milk and I'm not, I just want to die. You'd have to show better the development of that character. Otherwise, people just reject it. He said the same thing about, you know, certain tropes. Like, if you're writing about vampires and they're not bothered by the sun, you got to justify that because otherwise everyone just, it, it, people, they lose their immersion. But, like, the instant you have Luke Skywalker and he's, like, not interested in helping when all that's all he does, he's Mr. Helper. Practically codependent, really. The news. All the news that's fit for you. This is the Colony News Service. Boy, isn't that what we get anymore? All the news that's fit for you. That's what they decide what's, what's good. Farmers singing the blues. I'm just going to click through these. This is great how they did so much world building and all you had to do was read. Bad and bad. That's another place I like to just park ships because it's like I'm just on vacation. Not this one though. Planet Stuttgart. You can see Bad and Bad over here. But we're not too far from our goal. And I realize there's not a lot of action going on here, but we're, we're showing things off. We're showing off the system, the different... Doesn't that look like a hand? A hand grabbing some kind of ring of... There's this, okay, so there's a couple of them. Alright, so maybe it repeats a little bit in the pattern, but... I never noticed that before. Doc. We'll notice it together. Pew pew. I have enemy target in my sights. Who are they shooting at? Well, not me, so that's all that really matters. Police base. Let's check guard. Aladdin, yeah, you can you can do an info on that even though you didn't land. You can't land there. But like Stuttgart, we should get Stuttgart. That's a, a major house planet here. As we cruise through island space. I mean, even in the, the you know the last jet, all the all the the development that had gone into Han Solo. Well, no, I'll just go back to being the guy you where you met me in the uh, in the cantina. I'm just uh, a self-centered dude now. Really? Remember, the heroes really aren't real. They're just not. They're just people, and they're not. Humpies are fun, the humpback. What's the bar look like? All the news Chancellor condemns Berlin lifestyle. Wholesome lives, even in times of economic uncertainty and civil strife. Many interpret it as an attempt to address the planet's rapidly rising carbon problem, blame signed some by the junkers. Okay. See Emperor's Day here.
the ring with mirrors in the hope of reflecting the sun's energy into the dark side of New Berlin. Emperor paused Beck's contraption and fired a beam that was effectively an orbital laser strike at the city of Mulheim. Every year since, it's become tradition to do something foolish on Pospex Day. So what are you going to do? That See, that's... There's this, this good stuff here. And it explains what all these different factions are doing. Now, why are they shooting at you? They gave motivations to everybody. It was great. That looks like it might have been bits of the uh, the sleeper ship. But Doc. It brought everybody to Sirius. And not Sirius XF you know, Sirius XM, no, it's Woof Woof. Objective reached. See, can I remember New Berlin to Hamburg to Bering? I think. But how many battles do we have here with the Freelancers United? The FU fighting over Hamburg and stuff like that. Lots of them. Wonder how those guys are doing. What is what is Phil playing now? Phil was interesting because there was a lot of really good players back in the day. But eventually you could figure out how they were playing and what their style was and you could adjust to it. He kept he could just change his style to adjust to whatever you were doing. He would do different he was he was unpredictable a lot of times. It was very very cool. And half the time you thought he was cheating. <coughs> People swore that he was do using vertical strafe when that wasn't in the game. <coughs> it might be in the game now. I don't know. Coughing through a tickle there in the back of my throat. Objective. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Did I just go through New Berlin? No, it's no, we're in New Berlin. Okay, that's the St Stuttgart jump cat. The the direction thing screwed me up a little bit. Bond Station. You know, I'm feeling a little bit of time pressure at this point, so we're just gonna kick it. We're gonna bypass New Berlin altogether. For right now. We'll get some exploration here at some point. Nice little convoy. Uh, some light fighters and a and a humpback. And vanilla, that's you know, the humpback. I think I think it has slightly less cargo space than the dromedary, but it has better guns and better armor. Two fifty to two seventy five. That's what it used to be. I got better than both of them in this ship, which is a modded ship. So. We're relatively close, so we can always just zip down here, especially if I base this out of... Whoa! We're just going to drive away from that mess. But it's nice you can see, you know, the AI take this game very seriously. They're, they're, they're at each other, you know? I'm not speed docking the rings here just so we can get a look at things. Plus, I'm feeling lazy.
Yeah, PvP is a constant, and there's you basically have no recourse. It's not like, hey, why are you bothering me, man? You're here. But that's okay. It's a big enough place in this game that you can find some place where people aren't going to bother you. Usually. Unless they start tracking you down, you know. But I haven't seen that in years. Doc. We have a pretty straight shot here through Hamburg, and then we're going to be where we're, we're planning on going. We didn't get to use, you know, bearing on this uh, server, on the flu server, very much as the main base. Because it's, it's, a, it's reserved for the admins, I guess. Uh, back in the old days, I didn't even realize I was playing on an Australian server. I was just, you know, playing freelancer. Why is my ping so bad? Um. Trade lane disrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually just hit the turbos here. We're so close. Look for the green lights. Speed dog that puppy. Ah, a little bit off on my scale there. You have to land on Hamburg. Get a hamburger, you know. Planet Hamburgesa. It's been so long, I'm trying to remember the name of the server. It had two names. The Get On It server was the original name, and it was sponsored by, like, Get On It Internet. And then what was, like, the, the last day's name of it? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. It's late at night. I gotta go to bed soon. It'll come to me. Teamoid server. Teamoid was the guy around. Island police, Epsilon 2 did freelancer, Alpha 2 dash 1. Mind if I take a peek in your hold? Didn't think so. You're not hauling what I'm looking for. I'm not hauling anything. And when that server finally went offline, me and Mr. Bonkers, I think, were the last two people on. Maybe Rambler. But base was the last people to play that game. Before we all came over here. The men of base. Did we ever have any women of base? I think we did. It's so hard to tell on the internet, you know. On the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. So it's a... It's an old New Yorker cartoon. It's a dog on a computer. Oh, the internet's great. On the internet, no one knows you're a dog. Anybody, uh... The Amazing Road is in New York, but we're not going that far. <clears throat> this is kind of, you know, playing with my ships and parking them in different places. One of the favorite things to do in this game is... And that might sound odd. Stop. 
But it's just like, you know, playing with your matchboxes and putting them in little garages or something like that. And this isn't like a good system for trading or anything else like that. Not unless they've modified it. We can turn off the whole waypoint system now. Munich? See now, Munich, this wasn't here before. I don't think, was it? Munich, I think, might be a new system. Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock two. Where is it? Maybe I'd have to see it. I gotta get landed on Freeport 2. This is where it's gonna be. This is where I'm gonna base it. I love this. I love this base. This, has, this was my background for a long time on my computer. So a view of Freeport 2 from outside. I might do that. I might update that on my work computer. But Munich, I don't remember. I don't remember there being a, an extra gate there. That's... We're, we're going to have to investigate this. It's so funny after so many years of playing, and there are people, you know, the, the the flu mod keeps getting updated. I've been playing this game since pretty much 2003, 2004. I forget when I bought it. Online since 2005, January 2005. Maybe late late 2004, but January 2005 is when I joined up with base. Bearing to Munich is not even remotely familiar. Doc. Imagine it's going to look like this. Usually, everything's kept pretty consistent. Doc in use. Entering queue. What time is it? Have I been going? 10 o'clock. <clears throat> so we're going to take a quick peek at Munich. See if it rings any bells. Or is this my 50 year old brain just not clicking? All clear. Now it's our turn. Up, ladies. We're no, this isn't at all familiar. What the heck? Okay, new system. That's a big system. All right, I think this is a good a good bit of source material for another video. Don't worry, your ship won't be on fire. You won't be on fire for long. See? Fire's out. So let's just put this thing to bed up here in Freeport 2. We still have to go up here and then kind of complete the link out to Manhattan, too. There's so much to do. But Munich! That's an interesting thing. Huh. Robocop, you've been busy. And whatever team of, of geniuses you have going here.
Keeper nigh on to 20 years. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock 3. This is 3.2 to cargo transport trader. Identify yourself. I love this. Uh, this may have been boring. I don't know. It may have been interesting because you're, you're getting to see all the, you know, the different possibilities that, that exist in the game. I don't know what your take is on it. But I'm happy. This is one of my happy places. It's a serious system. And here we are. The great Jake's there. You can get consumer goods. At a good part right there. No ships to buy. <clears throat> Not too much in the way of weapons either, as I recall. Yeah, Fury turret. The Fury itself. Nothing really that you'd really want. But for role playing purposes. This is considered home. And now that I'm home, it's time to go to bed. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.